2022 Audi S3 first test, powerful panache with a price to match. We're hustling along at freeway speeds late one weekend evening when we see it off in the distance, yet another LA snarl of taillight ribbons looming ahead. Time to drop down a gear in the 2022 Audi S3. As its turbo-boosted 2.0-liter inline-four pegs near 5,000 RPM, the digital gauges surge and a buzz crescendos from its blackened exhaust tips. Trailing on the S3 strong brakes, which are capable of hauling Audi's entry-level sports sedan from 60 miles per hour to zero in an impressive 108 feet, we look for a gap. There it is. Back on the gas, the 2022 S3's 7-speed twin-clutch automatic transmission ships near Redline, and we're once again rushing toward home, luxuriating in its premium feel, leather-lined cabin. The line between sport and luxury is blurring ever further as premium brands like Audi continue to refine and redefine vehicles like its newly updated 2022 S3. Buyers increasingly want it all, and when it comes to gateway models like the S3, first impressions can mean everything. Audi S3 0 to 60 in quarter mile times. Speaking of, our test team's initial impressions of the updated S3 were positive. The S3's aforementioned 2.0-liter turbo, with 306 horsepower and 295 lbft of torque, is an engine the team called Pepe, with good mid-range power from 3000 rpm. It's a highly boosted four-cylinder that's more than capable of motivating the 3,555-pound S3 to 60 mph with authority. The 4.6 seconds to 60 mph sprint we recorded is a tenth of a second shy of Audi's official number for the 2022 S3, with the quarter mile coming in 13.2 seconds at 105.2 mph. Road test analyst Alan Lau had this to say about getting the S3 into its optimum straight-line attack mode, it has launch control along with a boost gauge. I find it performs better launching as soon as the boost reaches max weight too long and you lose some boost and it gives a slower launch. One of the Quattro all-wheel drive equipped S3's closest competitors in the space is the Mercedes-AMG A35 4MATIC. The slightly lighter, 3,480 pounds, 2021 A35 we tested with AMG's 2.0-liter turbo 4 with 302 horses just nipped the new S3 in straight-line numbers, at 4.4 seconds to 60 miles per hour and onto a quarter mile of 13.1 seconds at 105.1 miles per hour. But the S3 outbreak the A35 at the aforementioned 108 feet to 112 feet in our testing. S3 around the skid pad and figure 8. In the dynamics and handling departments, the S3's 0.92G on the skid pad in 25.5 seconds at 0.71G, average, on our motor trend figure 8 were bested by the A35's 0.96G skid pad in 24.7 seconds at 0.77, average, figure 8. While the A35 is the clear dynamic winner, short of taking the cars to the track, the rest of the numbers are close enough to make it a wash between the two German sedans and the type of day-to-day -day driving most owners will experience. Oh, and the Audi's more fuel-efficient at 2332 city-slash-highway versus 2229 city-slash-highway. Road test editor Chris Walton thought the S3 reminded him of another new German car, the new 8th generation Volkswagen GTI, which isn't super surprising given they're both underpinned by the Volkswagen Group's MEB Evo platform. But he remarked that he felt the S3 had a little more edge, with good noises and better traction, trustworthy brakes on every lap, and a healthy amount of grip on the skid pad with a very neutral attitude. It puts the power down quite well on the exit with just a hint of understeer that goes away as you open the steering. Walton did report that although the S3's transmission was unbelievably smooth on upshifts, he had issues with downshifting and had to resort to manual mode because the car wasn't getting the downshift timing correct as he maneuvered it through our dynamic course. Quiet cabin and abundant options. Out on the open road, the 2022 Audi S3 exhibits some impact harshness over rough pavement, but nothing out of sorts for a car of its ilk. Like other Audis, the S3 has a drive select mode system that tightens up shift points and other factors like steering feel, which Walton felt was heavy for heaviness sake in dynamic mode, though you can tailor settings in individual mode, which he used to dial the feedback to his liking. One thing you will notice at speed is how isolated the S3's stylized and tech-heavy cabin is. 
For a compact sports sedan, it's almost too much so, but that's a debatable point as it showcases the luxury side of this car's equation. Speaking of, the 2022 Audi S3 checks most of the boxes you'd expect for a vehicle that starts at $45,945. It also looks the part of a sports car, with aggressive front and rear fascia treatments, and a slightly lower stance than its A3 sibling. If you want the real good stuff though, you will pay for the privilege, including the $2,800 Premium Plus Package, Adaptive Cruise Control, Advanced Safety and Convenience Features, and the $2,250 Technology Package, Audi Virtual Cockpit with its 12.3-inch screen, Bang & Olufsen Sound. This particular car also came equipped with three optional interior and exterior appearance packages, the highlight of which is the $1,950 black optic package that blacks out several trim elements and adds a 19-inch wheel-slash-performance tire setup. All that black contrasts nicely with the Tango Red metallic paint scheme. At $55,890 all-in, this particular test car is on the pricey side, though it's not out of line with its German counterparts equipped with similar options. But even in its base form, the 2022 S3 delivers more than enough presence and performance to satisfy customers looking for something special at the more affordable end of the Audi lineup. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.